Hi, my name is John Hardigan. I'm an anthropologist at the University of Texas, and I research and write an awful lot about race. Uh, I've written um, several books, one on ethnography, uh, white people in Detroit. I uh, looked at uh, three different class neighborhoods and how race mattered differently in each of those areas. Uh, I then wrote a uh, cultural history of uh, white trash, of the term, the stereotype, how to moves through images and films and novels and um, popular culture. And then I have a book that will be out in May and that's on the national conversation on race. It's basically the discussion of race stories in the news. Each of those different projects lead me to my current work which is the book that I hope you all will have success in selling, Race in the 21st Century. I'm very excited about this book. I wrote it for several reasons. Uh, Primarily, they circulate around my enthusiasm for ethnography as a method of making sense of race, of getting into the particulars of how people interpret situations as racial or not. Um, I know, though, from both writing and teaching ethnography that it can be a bit cumbersome to use, and undergraduates sometimes get lost in all the details and the specificity. So, with this book, I've tried to survey kind of current and historical work on uh, race from an ethnographic perspective. Uh, so you have in one source uh, an array of um, projects that look at race in terms of whiteness, in terms of blackness, thinking about the racial middle, uh, people's ideas about genetics in relation to race. Uh, and they're all there in accessible form for undergraduates to access. Um, and then as well, uh, my enthusiasm for ethnography extends to turning undergraduates loose with this particular method. Let me say that I think that uh, this is a very apt time for doing so because the meanings of race are changing very rapidly. Uh, it's, it's really not easy to say how race will matter in the future. Uh, we know an awful lot about how it mattered in the past. Uh, we know a good deal about how it matters at the current moment, again based on a great deal of ethnographic work. Uh, but how it will matter uh, in, in the months and years ahead, that really is a task that I think falls to our students. I think that uh, they're capable of undertaking uh, either limited or extended uh, ethnographic projects into the field. Uh, talking with people in sororities, fraternities on campus about how race matters, uh, talking with their family members, uh, talking with people uh, that are participants in some of their uh, social networks. Uh, I want students to come out of this uh, with two things. Uh, one, um, uh, a refined uh, sense of how race matters uh, in terms of its specifics and the way particular um, uh, features of a place, of a social network, impact racial thinking. Secondly, I want them to see themselves as part of a cumulative knowledge project. I just talked about my enthusiasm for the book uh, being keyed in on its ethnographic uh, core, uh, but I also think that this book would work very well, say, in a sociology course where ethnography is not a component. Uh, the reasons why I think it would work well are first that I used uh, an awful lot of work by sociologists, Eduardo Bonilla Silva, Michelle Lamont, Howard Winnett, among others, people who are doing quantitative work um, that I think can be turned towards uh, qualitative questions. Um, and then secondly, I think that um, just the basic questions and dynamics around uh, racial inequality, forms of discrimination, the kinds of advantages as well that come with race are um, conceptualized perhaps initially in sociology but then really brought home through good compelling ethnographic work and uh, there is a lot of ethnography now being done by sociologists as well. Uh, another feature of this book is that um, I've been able to take a lot of critical race theory work uh, key concepts like controlling images, white privilege, etc., um, and align them with empirical studies. So these concepts, uh, one, become vivid, and two, uh, become tangible. 
they're not just ideas that people will argue about philosophically or politically in the classroom. Uh, there's ways to both substantiate these concepts and apply them. And I think that that will be an advantage of this text in, say, a sociology course, where uh, they may be more hesitant to use critical concepts or not sure how to link them with empirical studies. So on the whole, uh, this is a book that I'm, uh, I think will have an impact on how race is taught, how people think about race, how it's debated in the classroom uh, and researched in the field. I think that uh, this text will be a basis that students will be able to um, draw upon doing their own research. Uh, I think that as we move into the uncertain future of race, we will see uh, the increasing importance of being specific and talking about how race matters. And this textbook gives students and educators as well a variety of tools to do exactly that, drive some, achieve some specificity in how race matters. Thanks very much.